Okay guys, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Tracer Pack Oktoberfest bundle which actually comes along with some challenges you can complete to get yourself back some COD points. So it does say here this bundle includes an operator mission that unlocks COD points and a operator skin variant and the actual weapon blueprints themselves in this bundle include beer tracers and dismemberment and you can pick this one up for 2400 COD points. So if I start off by taking a look at the new Leda Hosen skin for Beck and then seeing what these mission challenges entail, so here it is. This is what you unlock straight away when you do purchase the bundle and I believe Lederhosen just translates to leather pants and of course like I mentioned this is the Oktoberfest bundle. I don't know too much other than that it's a German festival where there's a lot of drinking involved. But then if I scroll all the way down to the Guten Tag skin which is the other one available in this bundle which you can unlock and press square to view the mission challenges. You can see for objective one you need to use the XM4 or AK74U and get 50 kills or 50 eliminations in multiplayer or earn a slaughter medal in zombies. It does say this progression is available in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. So basically you need to get 50 eliminations in Cold War multiplayer or on Warzone or get the slaughter medals in zombies. And that will unlock you 100 COD points as the first objective. Then for objective two to get yourself 2000 XP, you need to complete three daily challenges in Cold War multiplayer, Warzone or zombies. So just go ahead and complete three of whatever your daily challenges are. For objective three to get yourself that Guten Tag skin, you need to use lethal equipment and get 15 kills in multiplayer or earn lethal equipment kill medals in zombies as well so get 15 so get 15 kills using your lethal equipment and you will get the new skin and if I just quickly preview this new skin for him as well I'm not really the biggest fan of these but they do fit the theme well with the Oktoberfest and the German skins and the Lederhosen and stuff so but yeah they're the two skins you can unlock in this one and then finally for objective 4 you need to get 5 kills without dying in multiplayer or earn a carnage medal in zombies so basically you just need to go on a 5 kill streak get a bloodthirsty medal in multiplayer and you will get yourself 200 cob points so overall you're actually saving yourself 300 cob points which honestly I was hoping it would be better than this it would be more but I guess it takes off 300 so you're basically paying 2100 cob points for this which is still quite a lot but um, yeah they're the objectives and the mission challenges just before i do get into the new weapons in this bundle with those beer tracers and dismemberment like i mentioned earlier we do have the new beer emblem there uh, the calling card as well, the tank card as the charm which I will equip and also the happy hour as the watch. I guess it's always happy hour in the Oktoberfest. Notice there how I was trying not to say the German words but I'm going to have to try here with these blueprints. We do have the XM4 and this one is the, I have, I li the uh, Kirsch, Kirsch or something like that maybe. And this one does come along with the suppressor as the muzzle, the target team spotlight laser, the radar pad, the airborne elastic wrap and the stagnant 60 rounds and like I said the new traces and dismemberment. And then we also have the Hefe Weizen I think maybe as the AK-74U blueprint. If you're German let me know down below or I don't know how you're going to do that in the comments but uh, yeah, this one has the Svetsnaz Compensator, the RVD Reinforced Barrel, the Duster Stock, 50 round drum mag and also the Bruiser Grip. Then the Keg Tap is in there as the Ballistic Knife. Actually if I just show you this new tapped out finisher move first, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't expecting this one in here so uh, yeah let's have a look at this one. And as always a run through of the mastery camos, of course Dark Aether is now available in Warzone and I have actually finally unlocked it myself just in time. It's like they knew that I just unlocked it, they straight away just added it into Warzone, I didn't have to wait very long. And that means I can show you it in game here in a second but if I just skim through them and there they are. So if we now take a look at these blueprints in game, starting off with that XM4, I'm not going to pronounce it again but I have put the new weapon charm on there and if you have ever seen anything to do with the Oktoberfest and the way they dress and all the colour themes, you'll get the theme of these and everything and by the way there is the new Happy Hours to Watch and then for the AK-74 you again, pretty much the same design style as the XM4 and of course we have the Ballistic Knife again there with a cool inspect animation and the same sort of theme. I did also swap over to Warzone so you can get a bit of a comparison of how the blueprints look on there if you are more looking to use these over on Warzone instead of Cold War. They do have the tracers working on there, I did check 
and finally here is how dark Aoife does look on the XM4 and then how it looks as well on the A74U. I don't have it for the ballistic knife unfortunately but yeah there's the mastery. Then to end things off let's take a look at the new beer tracers and dismemberment. It's definitely a really cool feature and effect added to these. You can see you do spray the beer at people and there's also the little cans that come off, the little beer cans as well as part of the tracers when you do shoot the guns which is a nice little added detail to these. There is also the dismemberment effect. You can see the acidy beer effect like lingers a bit on the actual head and the limbs when you do take them off with that dismemberment so yeah do let me know down below what you think of this new tracer pack and the feature of getting some cob points back what you think of these new beer tracers and dismemberment i will show on warzone as well here and the actual can the beer cans are red instead of the green like on cold war because obviously it is a bit different sometimes and yeah make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel with notifications on because i always do showcase the new bundles earlier on i did post a video reviewing all the upcoming bundles for the rest of this season so go check that one out after this. I'll leave any questions in the comments, join my Discord server down below, and I'll see you on the next one.